So what can we learn from matchsticks? You see, I didn't think we could learn much about them until I actually did. You know the routine, you light a matchstick, you light the wicks, you blow off the matchstick and throw it away, and then you go and fix the stove and do whatever else you needed to do. So that's what I was doing when I noticed that as I lit the wicks, the matchstick burnt brighter and brighter, and more vigorously than the old looking wicks of the stove. And that got me to think that the real thing does not flaunt its process. It just doesn't need to. It just does its job efficiently and continuously. But the fake thing, which doesn't last and is not equipped for that kind of job, just shows up and burns out really, really fast. Isn't that interesting?